Hi, I'm Amber. I'm Jelena. And our classic poem is Men Compliment Me. By Ruth Awad. Men compliment me like I'm a distant planet. Only they have the good taste to admire its desolate beauty. Oh, to reach into the galaxy like it was filled just, just for, for you. One man tells me I look sad and I think too much, so... I, I think, think about, about that, that too. too. I think about his good intentions, my freshly bloody teeth. The men who scare me most come not like wolves, but like mice. And gnaw away at the floor beneath my feet. I was 12 the first time I was called exotic. 14 when I was deemed a terrorist. 15 when I starved myself to, to rib, rib and yellowed yellow skin, skin thin as a tomato slice. I mean, a planet eventually plots, plots its own extinction as an aging empire waves its flag from the moon. White men say the world is ending. White, White men say, say the world is ending. And she's asking for it. And our response poem is titled, Men Cannibalize Me. So, the story goes I was created from the rib of man. Built out of loneliness and, and wanting. Pain. And sometimes I think about how his rib is still a part of my construction. How it's attached to my spine and it's the reason why my back cracks. Every, every time, time I stand up straight, I want my own spine. Yes. I want to snap it, rip it out of my hairy back with my teeth. Blood thick and dripping. I think I became Eve in seventh grade. After the bite. After suddenly becoming all too aware of my clothes. And my body. And my hair. And, and what my... men thought of me. I began to crave their thoughts so badly. I want to lick them off a silver spoon like strawberry yogurt. I've never been told how my face reflects the roundness of a distant planet. Or how my smile makes my eyes into joyous crescent moons. Or how my chest isn't the only thing he's looking at. The first time I got catcalled, I was 14, waiting at the bus stop when a man whistled at me from his beat-up white truck. And it was my first day of high school, wearing my mom's hand-me-down navy blue striped shirt. Wearing a yellow tank top my mom had bought me. Even now, I can't wear without the dark stain of memory. Yet, there was something neat about that. Something that could be wrapped up in a sparkly bow. First catcall. First day of high school. First day as a woman. I don't, I don't know when it happened. happened. Somewhere between the Barbie dolls. And my first razor. It was carved into my skin. This is what I was expected to do. And, and I, I accepted, accepted it. it. I don't want this. I never did. But I am I'm always being devoured, devoured by men. Following my mom down the creaking basement steps as she goes to do laundry. Nipping at her heels, asking her incessantly. Mom, do you think I'm pretty? Am I pretty, mommy? I have learned from my mother as she has learned from hers that my, my body, body is for men. A life lesson I've kept hidden in the groves of my lips. So I sway my hips a little more. Smooth my hair. Suck in my stomach just how my mama does. Just to get a man's attention. A glance. A stare. A whistle. A comment on how I should smile more. Just do something to tell me that, that I, I am, am woman, woman enough, enough because there will be a day when a man will feast on my squishy skin. Cut me apart like a delicacy and make me melt in his mouth. Licking his lips to get the rest of me.